Ever wanted to reveal your text with a smooth mesmerizing liquid effect? Well, you are in the right place. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this incredible liquid text filling effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro. No plugins, no complicated tricks, just pure and simple editing magic. Hey what's up guys, I'm Shabir. If you love insane high quality tutorials like this one, Make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on the next mind-blowing tutorial. Grab the text tool from the tools panel or simply press T on your keyboard. Click anywhere in the program panel and start typing. Now it's time to style it. Head over to properties panel. If you are using an older version of Premiere Pro before 2025, this panel is called Essential Graphics. Here, you can adjust the font, size, color, and alignment to make it look exactly how you want. Once you are happy with your text, it's time to create the liquid effect. Grab the rectangle tool from the tools panel, then draw a box in the program panel, making sure it's large enough to completely cover the text. Next, head over to properties panel and change the fill color to the color you want your text to be. I will go with white. Once you're done, click OK. Now scroll up and drag the shape layer below the text layer. Go to the effects panel. If you don't see it, navigate to window and select effects. In the effects panel, search for wave warp and apply it between the shape and text layers. Select the wave warp effect and head over to effect controls panel. Locate the wave width and increase it to around 150 to make each wave appear wider and more natural. Now let's animate the wave height. Set the wave height to around 50, then click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Move the playhead to about 2 seconds in, and lower the wave height to around 10. Finally, smooth out the animation by right clicking the last keyframe and selecting ease in. Now, let's animate the shape so it moves up and covers the text. In the effect controls panel, go to the shape section, expand the transform settings, and find the position property. First, move the playhead to the same point as your first wave height keyframe and add a position keyframe. Then, move the playhead to where your second wave height keyframe is and adjust the Y position until the shape fully covers the text. Finally, smooth out the animation by right clicking the last keyframe, going to Time Interpolation drop down menu, and selecting Ease In. Now, let's mask the wave with the text. Head back to the Properties panel, select your text layer, scroll down to the Appearance section, and enable Mask with Text. And here is what you will get. But let's take it a step further by adding a stroke to the text for extra style. In the Properties panel, select your text layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste. Now select the duplicated layer, go to Appearance section, disable Mask with Text and Fill, and enable a stroke. Adjust the stroke size to your preference. I like to set it to 5 pixels and make sure it's centered. Finally, ensure the stroke layer is positioned at the top. And here is the final result. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments section and I will do my best to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe for more wonderful tutorials and hit the bell icon to be updated on new tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.